If your blood pressure is just a little bit high, it's okay, isn't it? Well, I'm Dr. Steve Kopetsky, a preventive cardiologist at Mayo Clinic, and after surviving two bouts of cancer, I tried to find out what types of behaviors people could adopt to avoid disease, avoid illness, and live a long life. Now let's get into it. The answer is very clear and the answer is no, it's not okay. Why is that? Well, your heart has this habit and it's a good habit. Believe me, if you didn't have it, you wouldn't be here, neither would I, but it beats every second. And as it beats, it pumps the blood out and that's the pressure it generates to force the blood around your body, to your brain, to your toes and everywhere in between. So the blood pressure should be about 120 on top, 80 on the bottom. Those are just numbers. We start to say it gets too high above 130 on the top and 80 on the bottom. Again, just numbers, but why are they important? When your heart pumps, even if the pressure is just slightly high, say it's 132 instead of 130, you multiply that by 100,000 times a day. So think of it this way. You hold your arm out for five seconds, no big deal. A minute, no big deal. Try holding it out for an hour and a half. Try holding it out for 24 hours. That's what your heart has to do and has to work so hard throughout the whole day. It takes a toll on it. it. Leads to heart attacks and narrowing of the arteries to the heart. But just as scary, it also leads to damage of the arteries in your brain because that's where about 20% of the blood goes from the heart. What happens to the arteries when they get damaged in the brain? That leads to strokes, which is something none of us want to have because then we can't think clearly or move clearly or do the things we want to do. Now, how can you overcome that? What you want to do is have the pipe be bigger with less fluid in the pipe. So you want the arteries in your body to be bigger with less fluid in the arteries. That lowers the pressure. So how do you do that? Well, you get the arteries bigger by being active physically. When you're active vigorously, short sprints, running upstairs, playing tennis, that will actually enlarge the arteries because your muscles need more blood and they send a signal back and say, hey, arteries get bigger, I need more blood. The bigger the pipe, the lower the pressure. The next way to do it is have less fluid in the pipe. How do you do that? Less sodium, less salt in our food. Unfortunately, uh, about three years ago, before the pandemic, we were eating a little over three grams of salt or 3,000 milligrams a day. Now at the end of it, we're eating about 4,000. We should be eating less than 2,000. So we've, we're doubling the amount we should eat. And you say, why is that bad? Well, have you ever been to a diner where they have salt shakers and they put a little rice in the salt shaker? They put rice in there so the rice will absorb water and the salt won't because salt absorbs water. As it absorbs water, if it's in our bloodstream, then we have more fluid in our arteries and then our pressure goes up. So how we eat is really important. The number one source of the salt right now is the ultra processed foods we're eating. Less than probably only about 10% of the salt we eat comes out of a salt shaker. Most of it is really in the foods we eat, especially the ultra processed, so be careful with those. And then also add in some regular physical activity at least 48 hours, and that will hopefully do the most you can to keep your blood pressure down so you have less strokes, less heart attacks, longer lifespan, longer health span. To learn more about this topic and so much more, check out my book, Live Younger Longer, written by me, Dr. Stephen Kopetsky. You can find the book at mcpress.mayoclinic.org or wherever you buy books. Thanks for listening. See you next time.